local case in the fight against the opioid crisis is making headlines across the nation. 18 members of a police SWAT team were exposed to a dangerous chemical during a drug raid yesterday morning. Amy Wattis is live with the very latest on the officers' conditions. Good morning. Good morning, Sarah. And those 18 uh, SWAT officers were medically cleared after they were taken here to Mercy Hospital. They were exposed to a substance believed to be fentanyl after a raid in the West End. Now, these officers were called to three separate homes in the West End around 6 in the morning yesterday to execute federal search warrants. But things took a turn for the worse at a home on Bond Street. Investigators say when SWAT officers went into the back of the house, they found a suspect trying to escape through a back window. That's when a table where drugs were being bagged was knocked over by one of the suspects causing the powder narcotics to become airborne. The U.S. Attorney's Office believes this sub chemical substance was possibly fentanyl. The officers had various symptoms, including burning in the throat. Some became a little lightheaded and one person was nauseous. Fortunately, in this uh, situation, it was a short event. Mm -hmm. They were exposed for a short period of time. There was no continued exposure. No one had a severe exposure. So, uh, you know, it really, it, it's the time that lets this uh, resolve itself on its own. Investigators say they also found a significant quantity of white powder on a plate in the kitchen. They also found more than 1,000 packaged stamp bags and about 250 grams of unpacked drugs. Four people are facing charges following this raid. Now, this is just another case possibly involving fentanyl in our area. If you remember, there was a situation over in East Liverpool, Ohio, which is right across state lines where an officer there was subjected to fentanyl. And then in Washington Township, Westmoreland County, an officer was overcome by either fentanyl or heroin during a traffic stop. We're live outside Mercy Hospital this morning. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV Morning News.